against a defensive end. They did it last week with Simeon Rice. They had tight ends and running backs blocking him. Steve Spurrier has got to adjust his philosophy of protection. It's not just individual guys getting beat. The philosophy is flawed. Johnson under pressure. Down he goes. Aaron Schobel, along with Pat Williams, applying the pressure. Aaron Schobel goes upfield, gets chipped by the running back, actually knocks him back inside, and he's able to... Bills forced to burn their second time out. And he fires in zone. He's got Chandler for the Buffalo touchdown. 19 yards, and Buffalo builds on its lead. Will they bring the heat again? Yes. Taylor, another deep drop. Steps up. Running out of time. Fires, and it is caught! Robert Woods with a first down. And maybe a late hit on Wagner. That's one of the great plays you'll see ever by Tyrod Taylor. And the tenth catch of the night for Woods. That is his career high. The previous best was nine twice in his career prior to the night. Oh, this is unbelievable. Getting out of trouble and credit Robert Woods with trekking the sideline and S. Richard Sherman. There are two fouls both on the defense. Well, he was making 50 yarders in the pregame one up club. Well, he's that's blocked. And the Bills have it. They try to keep it alive and keep do. Up, and corners running around. <laughs> Goodness still gracious, alive. it's still alive. George Wilson. The only thing missing is the Stanford band. Is he going to score? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Fitzpatrick fires. Oh, caught. Steve Johnson. Touchdown, Buffalo. What a play and what a move. 28 yards. <laughs> <laughs> Why, so, Why serious? so serious? And it's a great throw. You'll watch right there coming to the outside. And he puts the corner in a bind. The safety can't get out there. And he just squeaks into the end zone. They put the pressure on the defensive secondary once again. And the safeties just can't get to the sidelines. I kind of like it. Why so serious? Hey. Oh, you just have fun them in the area yeah, it wasn't just our network the entire stadium was out of power Fred Jackson Corey McIntyre the pass to the end zone caught and a touchdown Lee Evans made the catch now, I don't think Quentin Jammer can believe that Lee Evans caught that football Jammer is one of the better cornerbacks in football and he was all look at this coverage one-handed back to the side of his helmet boy the issue here did he have total control of the football but with both feet in bounds look at that one hand to the side of the helmet on the back of the shoulder pad and he got both feet down dragging it well, with Sean McCoy in our meeting with him Friday talked about the similarities between Roman and Chip Kelly he says they're both so dynamic in their abilities as offensive coordinators. Taylor's going to take a shot. He's got his man, Harmon, caught in the end zone for the Buffalo touchdown. 51 yards as Harvin beats Darius Butler. And if you didn't think that Tyrod Taylor could throw it. Now you're going to see this here. And that's just Harvin. But watch this throw going outside of the defense. He clearly allows Percy Harvin to run underneath this one. This is a tremendous throw. That's a coverage beater right there. So if you thought that Tyrod Taylor was a run first quarterback and couldn't sling it, <laughs> exhibit A. This guy can make some plays with his arm. In the year for the veteran Phil Hanson, who had 11 years in the league can still run people down. Brady in trouble. Here comes the rush, and here's the hit. Oh. Man, alive. 
Brady's up. That's good to see, but a, what looked like a knockout hit by Nate Clements, who played against Brady when they were both in the Big Ten. And Clements at uh, Ohio State, Brady at Michigan. That hit. Had to see Brady get up. That was a that, knockout that hit, hit. That hit gave me chills. I, I, that was scary. Brady's hat flew right off, and I'll tell you what, Brady got right up. Right Watch up. Watch as he comes up. He's got to get down. Starts to go down. It's just not fast enough. And he takes a mammoth hit. Six back there, including Reggie Corner. Rolling out like Solomon talked about. Five. Hit as he throws. That's an interception. It's picked off by Florence. Another pick, the 18th for Brett Favre, who is down and in pain. Boy, was he drilled from behind. They Florence tried to, with the pick. Yeah, and they tried to get him out of the pocket, tried to get him out of on the edge. I think Brett's got to get rid of the ball. He got a sense that the pressure is breaking down. But it was Drayton Florence who told us when we met with him last night, you see the hit from behind, ball goes up in the air. He said, we are going to have a chance to get some interceptions against Brett Favre. There is the hit coming from behind, and Brett Favre never saw him coming. The, the memory he had was being able to play in the Superdome when he grew up in New Orleans. He wanted to give the same opportunity to kids here in Indianapolis. Bills on fourth down. They need 34. Rob Johnson's going to air it out. Big time arm into the end zone. Up for grabs. Got Touchdown. Touchdown. 125 left to go. It's 42 to 26. A 40-yard touchdown play. Earless Price coming down with the ball, and that, I'll tell you what, the watch in the end zone, this is nothing but a running street fight in the end zone. Peerless Price ends up, but watch had the contact and all the penalties, all the interference, offensive and defensive. They'll never call anything down here. Watch as he slips inside the double team, catches the ball. That's a good description, Greg. It's just 27, 17. Let's go back to that catch by Mould. Well, it's Bledsoe trying to throw the line drive. Ty Law's <laughs> looking, but you can't stop that type of play. He still hasn't put a second hand on the football. Oh, boy. Yeah, I know these gloves help. Not that much. <laughs> That's right, not that much. <laughs> I couldn't make that catch if I had a baseball <laughs> mitt. It's 9-3 Buffalo on top, 9.35 to play here in the third quarter. And the Bills will get it back. Back deep to receive is Spiller on the near side along the numbers. Has some daylight. He could go. He's going to go untouched. Touchdown, Bills. Turn for CJ Spiller. This is a pack breaker, Tom. And but then you notice uh, he barely even makes one cut. He's untouched and he's downhill. And you get CJ Spiller a running lane, and you don't make him change direction, and you allow him to kick it into fifth gear. That's what you're going to get. Well, I've got to live up to that. I'm not I'm no longer the head guy. I've got to lead up I live up to the guy on the other side. Marshawn Lynch breaking it. Look at Lynch go. Pops it outside. Stiff arm puts it back. Power drive. Touchdown Buffalo. Holy mackerel. This kid can play. 23 yards. And the Bills are on the board again. Woo! Just this is what I was talking about. For the Denver Broncos, for Travis Henry, to establish this sort of attitude, this sort of forward lean. Just go behind your blockers. Nice pull by Derek Dockery. Langston Walker does a good job. And by, from then on, it's familiar in Berkeley. They're watching it now. They've seen it before. 
The Buffalo fans here are gonna learn to love this young man. It's Terrence McGee, the return man, who had the overturn on his interception. And he's ready to run. That's McGee across the 20. The 30, and look out, Terrence McGee, Vinatieri won't get near him. Look at him go, touchdown, Buffalo. Bill Belichick knew it, knew that they had something on special teams that was indeed special. That's the toughest job on the kickoff team. You are the wedge buster. You're going one place, and that's right through the gauntlet. McGee heads to the left. He's got a lane. Terrence McGee is out across the 40. McGee, one man to beat. Terrence McGee will take this one to the house. No flags. 87 yards. He had 98 yards on a touchdown return against New England early in the year. I guess he's just going to make up for that bad angle he took on defense and giving up the touchdown down there to Ian Badejo and makes up for it. Man, he has got some jets. Oh, did you see that just dissolve an angle? Now watch how he gets up inside and follows London Fletcher. You see that right off his tail? The contain guy, Ronaldo Hill, out there loses contain on Stamer. Now it's off to the races. And there's no way you're catching Terrence McGee. Boy, they miss a hold there on Ronaldo Hill, but hey. And a former Syracuse standout, Olindo Mare, who's really an NFL standout, ready to kick it off. And there is Terrence McGee, one of the NFL's best at returning kickoffs. Mare hits the ball deep. And McGee will bring it out. He's quick. Across the 20. Across the 30. He's not done. Race is on. He could go. It's over. There's no flags. The distance looked like 105 yards. The fifth kick return for a touchdown. Some of the on punts by the Bills this season. Well, the Bills talk, Steve, about starting fast. That's as fast as you can start. You cannot start any faster. No flags down. And there's no question, Mike Malarkey, it's just like in basketball where your shooter takes a bad shot and you think, no, 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 and then go, go, go. McGee brought it from four yards deep. Still need about 30 yards or so to give Lindell a shot. Here's Edwards stepping, firing, and complete. Josh Reed. Hit time throw by the rookie quarterback. Down to 10 seconds left after the 31 yard completion. This is an excellent throw. Watch how much traffic is around the receiver. Look at the Redskins there. Four of them. And Josh Reed not afraid to go into harm's way and cut the clock. Game clock stays at eight seconds. 51 yard attempt. Joe Gibbs wants the timeout. This won't count. Playoff hopes might be on the line here. And the official comes running out. They'll use their final timeout. Well, Dick Duran coming out. Can they call back-to-back -back timeouts in this situation? Jerron is be. saying, hey, that's a 15-yard penalty. Yeah, it would be a delay of game. Washington may not call consecutive timeouts, and in this case, to freeze the kicker. By rule, this is unsportsmanlike conduct. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Oh, what a turn! Wow. Dick Jerron appropriately uh, informing the officials that he cannot call consecutive timeouts. 
the Hall of Famer Joe Gibbs. Back to back timeouts. He used the first. He cannot use the no, second. You can't do it. And he knows that. Obviously not. Maybe forgetting. A nope. lapse in judgment allows Buffalo to get even close. The Redskins got lost in the moment. It's now a 36 yard attempt for Lindell. Mormon will hold it. Lindell on the way. It's good. Buffalo takes the lead with four seconds remaining. Power set right. We go to McGahee cutting back and he drives through, hit at the line of scrimmage. He spins off and McGahee with that great vision. Now figuring more and more in the offense, Steve. He was quiet in the first half, no catches, two in the third quarter. And here is McGahee and he's in. And the Bills, who have scored only nine points a game and losing all their road games so far this season, averaging nine on the road, today break it open. Looking for 24 on the extra point. Yeah, but just before the snap, one of his teammates had called timeout. Now on fourth, less than one, they're going for it. Going for the first down. Dumps it off. A great fake. This is McGahee running towards the end zone. One man to beat. He'll not do it. McGahee goes in. They're going to rule him out of bounds, just short of the end zone. Now they give him a touchdown. His third of the day. One official had him marked to play for him in a Pro Bowl or All-Star game, and this guy is, is a great offensive mind. Now you had a team that came within one drive of winning a Super Bowl at Cincinnati, and there is McGahee, and the payoff end again. McGahee's fourth touchdown today. He had come into the game with three touchdowns, so he has seven for the season. Going for bonus today. Yeah, and, and it was all green to Sean Bryson up the middle, and Jason Fisk played it beautifully. Four man rush. Quick throw to Mould. Mould's 40, 30. Out of bounds at the 20. The wide receivers hadn't given them anything all night long, and Van Pelt hits Moulds for 36. This is how strong he is. This is how strong. He breaks Bishop's tackle. Samari can't even. He throws Samari away like he's not even there. Going to kick the ball deep. If Christie <laughs> makes this field goal, I would not want to be on special teams for Buffalo on kick coverage. I'd be scared to oh, death. Well, I can assure you, what, well, after this, we'll talk about the kickoff. If he makes this. Christie from 33. He's hit from 41 and 42. Missed from 51. Got it. The third field goal of the night. A of the mute throwback right. last year. Here's the kick. Mason, two yards Turn deep. Out. Mason. What a return to the 49, a 51 yard kickoff return for Mason. Referee just said the Buffalo Bills have taken their final timeout and regrouped. The biggest thing here is, <laughs> is can he get it high? This is the key. Normally from this distance, the ball comes out low. He gets it too high, it won't get there. Greg Hendrick from 60 yards away to tie. He should have time. They only have four guys rushing. It's got a chance, but it's wide. You know, they got to be able to attack in the middle of the field. That's where the matchups are favorable for Buffalo. First and 10. Oh, he's got Watkins. And there they go, right at him. Barry was there, Sean Smith was there. They beat him on the play to the Kansas City 13, a 48-yard strike. It's in their secondary third down and 10. Tyrod Taylor. Rush was on. Watkins is open. Caught the ball. And 14-yard pickup, first down. They beat Smith. Well, the question is, does that right foot stay in when he actually makes the catch? I think it does. I think he... As he's catching it, he's able to drag that right foot. Great concentration on the boundary by Sammy Watkins. Carlos Williams walking off. We'll try to update his status. They're going deep for Watkins, and he got it. And it is a touchdown. A 
Look at the third down conversions today, three of five. They send pressure. He's going for Watkins, who finds double coverage, and he cut the ball again! Watkins is shredding the Kansas City secondary. Dixon in the backfield. Taylor. Watkins. He's done it again! Sammy Watkins once again torches Smith. A 21-yard touchdown pass. Be the offensive line. But it's early. Second drive of the game for the Bills. And there goes Freddie Jackson taking off. Foot race inside the 20. Cuts back. What a move to escape the last giant. Touchdown, Fred Jackson. 80 yards. That move said it all about Fred Jackson. Everybody in Buffalo says it's uncanny how he always knows where everybody's at. First, the blocking up front is terrific. And then Deion Grant, wrong angle, comes up too quick. And then wants to move it to Aaron. Aaron Ross has got him, but that little sway to the left allows him to go for the touchdown. Saw it last week. And have, his, have his way against that Raiders defense. Brady taking over from the 35. The screen is intercepted. Aaron Schobel took it out of the air and took it to the goal line. Touchdown. It was Kyle Williams' pressure and a spectacular athletic play by Schobel for the touchdown. What happened? Tom Brady's going to turn his back to the defense. He flips his head around, but he never sees Schobel, who makes an incredible one-handed interception. I promise you, Schobel, he was a Pro Bowl player two years ago, and he's back, and that's the second big-time play he's made today. But watch the instinct right there. He knew that Matt Light went for the cut on the screen. That was a very instinctive, intuitive understanding of what the Patriots are trying to do, run the screen, and he reacted to it. The Buffalo Bills were begging for turnovers. That's the one area that Perry Fuel said we have got to address. Whether we play zone, whether we blitz, whatever we do, we need turnovers. And if we can win the turnover battle against the New England Patriots, we can beat them. And so far, that's the play of the night. And the Patriots are in shock right now. Last year, the Buffalo Bills only 10 interceptions and 24 sacks. They're putting Tremaine into a gap. Got penetration to shut down the run game. Chris Hansen will punt it. So a lot of offense in the first half from these two teams. Virtually nothing in this second half. Does take a Jacksonville roll. Roscoe Parrish on the scoop. Parrish gets a block. Down the sideline. Parrish crosses midfield. And Parrish emerging on his feet. Roscoe Parrish will take it the distance. Touchdown, Buffalo. His season long is 53 yards. They still need a chunk of yardage here. Rossman steps up. Rossman throwing on the move. Catch made. Roscoe Parrish. Jacksonville claims it was out of bounds. Well inside your target line. Win at your back. Ten seconds left. Let's take a look at the play. Rossman does an excellent job of staying alive and does not take off running for it. And how about the catch? by Roscoe Harris with two times. And a chance to put Buffalo into the win column. A 42-yard attempt. The Bills, four and six. Jacksonville, six and four. Important game for the Jaguars and their playoff hopes. Mormon will hold it. Schneck will snap it. For the win. Ryan Lindell, 42 yards away for Buffalo. He's got it. Buffalo wins it at home over Jacksonville. Roscoe Parrish, the hero. Henry, the long back. Splits off to the end. What a catch. At the Chicago 26-yard line.
That is a quarterback who has extraordinary confidence in his receiver. Todd McMillan has the coverage here, and it's good. Bledsoe just puts that ball up, and Mould makes an exceptional athletic play. Look at that. He leaps up and over Todd McMillan to pull this ball in. Bledsoe told us yesterday he loves the three wide receiver combination he has here in Buffalo. Bledsoe pumps twice and then dumps it off to Henry. Travis Henry inside the five. Touchdown. The Bills win in overtime. On Bledsoe's fourth touchdown pass of the day. And his lead record fourth overtime touchdown throw of his career. Buffalo fans thought Travis Henry cost them the Denver game last week with his fumble that resulted in a Denver touchdown. Taylor wants to keep it himself, and he's got the first down. Still going. Tyrod Taylor at the 35, dancing his way inside the 30. What a run by Tyrod Taylor. Give him 26 yards. He came to Buffalo. A lot of people thought he was just a throw-in. This is why he won the job in Buffalo. One, he's used to learning new offenses, and the second reason is this right here. He can do that, and that's the magic that Bill's fans and the coaching staff want from him. And that kind of shots. Ninth play of the drive. Taylor keeps it himself. Room up the middle. Tyrod Taylor on the move. Gets to the outside. Taylor into the end zone for a touchdown. Throw the football. You see that? Then he tucks it up inside. You see the lineman getting upfield and the rest just individual. Great block right there by Robert Woods. Took out two Tennessee Titans and Tyrod Taylor does the rest. Well, in a game like this, too, when your biggest playmakers are out of it, everybody else has got to step up, and they put a big boatload of pressure on this drive on Tyrod Taylor. Taylor steps up, has some room. Tyrod Taylor at the 20, goes the other way to the 30, and he's got the first down. Tyrod Back to the 20-yard line. Bryson is in the backfield with centers. First down and 10. Now Bryson in motion. And Van Pelt right to work. He's at the side, caught by Eric Moltz. Breaks the tackle, gets a great block, and there he goes! It's a foot race with the linebacker, Derek Rogers, and Moltz will win this. And Buffalo is on the board. job of keeping him away from Van Pelt. Henry back in the game outside the 45. First down and 10. It's a fake to Henry. Who offers a block. Van Pelt going deep for Moulds. Oh, what a catch. Touchdown. coach this one but again there's that rhythm I was just talking about steps back one two three lets it go deep Jamar Fletcher over here Patrick Sertain no help over the top they got the matchup and the mismatch in their mind that they wanted that's Jamar Fletcher he can't run with it so Fred Jackson alone in the backfield T.O. right here this might be a good time to take a shot up the field short drop and that's where they're going to try to go T.O. has a step towards and he's going to score 98 yards. You know, you know that was an audible, by the way. And, and, and Alex Van Pelt and the current offensive coordinator and the former offensive coordinator, Turk Schoener, both said Ryan Van Pelt, or Ryan, Ryan Fitzpatrick, excuse me, will take a shot, will audibleize. And take, and it, you saw bump coverage on the outside, and you're thinking, Give T.O. a shot out there, one-on-one -on -one up the field. What a great audible and a great throw, great catch for the Buffalo Bills. I love it. In London, the Jaguars have had a halftime lead. McCoy on first down, has some room. Rashawn McCoy off to the races, chased by Cyprian. McCoy will go the distance. 
75 yards! Well, well, there we have it. That was an adjustment <laughs> by the Bills at halftime, and they saw something that came right out on first down. First play of the second half, LaShawn McCoy takes the Bills from 25 yards rushing to 100. He comes out, he's going to make a jump cut right there, and then the, both tacklers blew it. Jalen Ramsey and Deshaun, and Gibson. Deshaun Gibson both walked right by the tackle. They filled the same gap. Yeah. One of them needed to step inside. You see them both right there holding the outside leverage. One of them needed to have the inside leverage. He hit it like he wanted to from 56 yards away. Lindell, good hold, got it up. Play action. Henny in trouble. Fires. Floods. Interception. He finally got one. And he goes down at midfield. Drayton Florence. And Fitzpatrick to throw. Up top. T.O. Oh! Here's Henny to the sideline, picked off again. Whitner down the sideline. Whitner down at the fifth, the 25. A 28 yard return. Jackson in the backfield. They hand it to him, breaks it back. Jackson, touchdown, Buffalo. almost feel like they used Ricky Williams up too much too soon in this game they wanted to get in 20 25 carries he got those very early ball deflected and intercepted wow been that kind of day the interception wasn't one of them first down from the in Indianapolis 40 Johnson down the sideline Door. First down and goal at the seven. Down by six points. Here's Edwards. In the corner, Edwards! Touchdown, Buffalo! James Hardy in the red zone. That's why they got that guy in the draft. He's 6'5", 220 pounds. They said it when they drafted him. We need a red zone threat, and Trent Edwards threw a ball that nobody else on Buffalo's team could have caught. Jack Del Rio looking for the replay. Did he, did he get both feet in? Whoa. Don't know. We'll see here. Oh, it looks like he, oh, his oh, toe might be out right wow. there. Wow. Oh, man. Now, if it's. I don't believe watching the Jets, if you hard count them, it's almost no, given no. they're going to jump off sides. But so, pump fake now goes to the end zone. Touchdown! <laughs> gets open down the middle it looks like this is him right here let's watch it he comes in oh boy you know what it was it was nothing that eric molds does it was drew bledsoe he makes the pump fake and it kept the safety to the outside oh and it almost goes through see the pump fake it kept damian robinson to the outside and it stopped James Darling from getting deeper. 
Drew Bledsoe's first touchdown pass with the buff with the Buffalo Bills. Five, six seconds. Go. Second and eight. The Buffalo defense needs to stop. Tannehill loses the football, and the Bills have it. Kyle Williams comes away with the football, and a huge mistake by the Miami Dolphins and Ryan Tannehill. That is unbelievable by the Miami Dolphins. He gets good pressure. Mario Williams sack strip pulls it out. If Kyle Williams could just gather that in and get off the ground, he could have run into the end zone because he had some help back in the backfield, but he can't gather it in. That saves the Dolphins game right there. To win it for Buffalo. Right through the middle. 33 seconds remaining. A win to remain alive for that number two seed in the AFC. Either way, they are hosting a playoff game here in Cincinnati. The question is whether it's right away, week one of the postseason, or do they, do they get to stay home and watch and get a first round bond? Handoff, I should say McGee on a run back. Sideline. McGee. He's gone. Terrence McGee, the distance, 99 yards, and this crowd is silenced. He told you he had some speed. He's a star. Seconds remain with the Bills in front, 30 to 27. No timeouts remaining on a second and eight. Shotgun for Palmer. Palmer able to get rid of it and picked off. Terrence McGee is gone. Touchdown, Buffalo. What a game by Terrence McGee. He's done it all. Slamming the door shut on the Cincinnati Bengals. And this will be a sobering loss for Cincinnati. The celebration, division champions, after clinching it last week in Detroit, coming home in front of the fans, and this is what will be remembered. Oh, there was pressure in the face, and then... Carson Palmer really just turned it loose late. Harris McGee jumps the pass intended for Kevin Walter. This game, it'll be second and one. To get the one, they've got to get it into the end zone. Carolina trying to stop them and win the game. Here's Manuel with a fade and wide open. Touchdown to Stevie Johnson. Welcome our audience and the Buffalo Bills just scored a touchdown with two seconds left wide open with Stevie Johnson in the end zone confusion in the secondary and Dan Carpenter trying to give the Bills the lead and the game and the kick is good the extra point is good third down and goal from the 12 I'm going to Eric Moles right now or Reimers Ma. Here's Johnson. Steps up. Wants to run. Can he get to the corner? Let's see. He's out of bounds at the one. The Bills say it's a touchdown. What a heck of an effort by Rob Johnson. It was third down and goal from the 12. And if he hits that pylon, it's a touchdown. Let's see that ball. Let's see. Ah, that's a touchdown. What an effort. At the one yard line. And this should be reviewed. It ought to be reviewed. And the Buffalo Bills on their sideline right now are standing around looking at the coaches. They're trying to figure out what's going on. Remember, the goal line extends around the world. So it's a get, if he gets over it before he's down, it's a touchdown. He had to be over it, have that ball extended over it before his foot hit the ground, and I think he had it. Bills led it 7-3, but in the third quarter, Elvis Gerback hit Tony, Tony Gonzalez on a 13-yard strike. Buffalo came back on an 18-yard strike. Johnson to Reimers Ma. And then Gerback hit Gonzalez again. Let's see what happens now. After reviewing the play, 
ball broke the plane of the goal line prior to touching out of bounds. It is a touchdown. Buffalo is not charged a timeout. And let's go over it one more time. Ball just has to break the plane right there. We saw the pylon. Great job. Great shot. Look at that. There's the thing. There's the ball breaking the plane. Just has to break the plane. Notice his feet have not hit the ground yet. He's still in the air. Leans that ball over. One heck of an effort by a guy that's been banged up. Has some Another Carney field goal with 13 seconds left in the first half. Extended their lead to 13-7. The Saints dodged a bullet named Terrence McGee. The Pro Bowl kick returner cut, spun, and juked his way 82 yards through all 11 Saints defenders before tripping up at the three-yard line as time expired in the half. Not getting a lot of stops up front. Seventh play of the drive. All six previous plays have been running plays. Lynch to throw it. Touchdown, Robert Royal. Sean Lynch through the air. How about that for some razzle dazzle? 40 and counting in the fourth. Buffalo with a 26 to 21 lead on Cincinnati. Reed goes in motion. Back to the ground game. And the Bengals swarm. Lynch breaks a tackle. Marshawn Lynch. He's gone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Good night. Lynch over 100 for the first time in his NFL career. And he just put this one on ice. Rashad Genty, 93, not able to secure the tackle. Neither is Justin Smith. And we told you that once you get to 65, 70 snaps in the game as a defense, you wear down. Your ability to secure the tackles and still stay strong on defense, it begins to erode. Marshawn Lynch in the offensive line taking advantage on just how much this defense for the Bengals has wore down. Three defenders at the point of attack. In one ball carrier, they have him in the backfield one minute, and then the next, they don't. J.J. Moses deep back, awaiting the Brian Mormon punt. Great field position again for the Packers. Ooh, he gets off a rocket. And Moses watches this one hit wow. at the 20. Inside the five, and it will die there. What a punt. This may be the longest in the lead this year. It is 83-yard punt by point. Brian Mormon, a career-long, a league-long this year. Down and eight. Remember, for all the struggles we've seen kickers have going in the other direction, this way the wind is helping. And Mormon gets the ball up, turns it over, and when it turns over, it hits the ground and bounces forward and sets that up and give themselves some room and back up the Patriots. And Tyrone Poole back to turn the punt, and Mormon drops it. Now has to take off wide open field. Look at this mistake turn into a plus. Brian Mormon all the way to the 42 of the Patriots. And Gary Brack at that time was untouched, unscathed on a direct path to Bledsoe. Here's Mormon. Whoa. And now he's going to run it. And he may have a first down. He does. All the way to the 49-yard line. Oh, my. He's taking a victory lap. There's a flag down on the play. A 21-yard run. And it was longer than that. It was more like uh, 30 yards from the time. Times that Trent Edwards could make a sandwich. And there it is, wide open. Ryan Denny, they didn't see him, and he scores. Wow. Bobby April, the Buffalo Bills special teams coach, has a return gift for the former Bills special teams coach, Bruce DeHaven, on the other side. Ron, Bobby April confused everybody, including Mike Holmgren, the Seattle Seahawks, and us. We couldn't even see him. You can see him right here at the very bottom. Actually, you can't even see him on your screen. He is lined up right on the sideline. You know, they used to uh, 
they used to get the NFL and get teams for a little winded. You know, they go very deep on this defensive line for Cincinnati. You might see a shift change if they get the opportunity. If I'm the Bills, go no huddle. Keep them on the field. First and ten. Blitz was on from Nelson. Oh, he's got the receiver. Goodwin. Touchdown. What a throw by the young man Thad Lewis as he reads the defense perfectly. We just talked about it. If you can't get Thad Lewis with two consecutive touchdown passes, Chandler for 22, and right there, 40 yards to Goodwin. With the score being what it is, what you can't do is you can't let them throw the ball over your head. You're playing off coverage. Now get deep. Turn the hips and get running. This is man-to-man -man coverage. Easy read for Thad Lewis. He takes a shot to Goodwin. Their most speedy receiver, we said at the top, these receivers, they're fast. They believe they can make plays on the outside against the Bengals' corners. And boy, have they made one, and none bigger than this one. Decide to start him and get him a few more snaps in the game. Miami Dolphins went 10 straight quarters without a turnover. They've turned it over twice in the last two quarters now. Bledsoe going deep down the middle. Tip caught. Eric Moles touchdown. What a catch by Moles. He just made the one-handed catch earlier in the game. Looked like chicken feed. Oh, I tell you, Drew Bledsoe throwing downwind. It's always not as easy as everybody thinks because the ball can slide and carry, and it's hard to get that good feel. He actually throws it just a couple yards short. Well, they said, let's get. Our wide receivers down to fit. Oh, nice move. A little hesitation. And it's Sam Madison who does not make the play once the football is in the air. And you know what? Everybody's going to go, oh, come on. Listen, for a defensive back to be running full speed, to look up and see a ball thrown that far and that high, it's very tough to make the catch. Sam Madison's unfortunate that it bounces to Eric Moles. What a fine grab by Mould. Bledsoe says, oh, yeah, we got one. Oh, it's... Me. Fourth and goal. Taylor throwing end zone. It is caught by Clay. They've been working this in the second half. Clay is going to come up, and he's just going to work to the inside. That's where Taylor is going to... Gonna, it's man-to-man -man coverage with the linebackers dropping underneath. He's able to find that lane. Coming right through the middle. Everybody's busting through that offensive line. They can't hold it tight, and they get their sixth sack of the game. This is big. Fourth and 20. He lets it go. Chandler's got it. First down. He atones for the drop. Pretty tough break for Buffalo. And it was a late flag, too. Orton with a pump fake going for Hogan. He's got it at the one yard line. 52. Hogan is the favorite target in the red zone, but Dixon the lone setback. He is looking to Watkins. He's got it. Touchdown, Buffalo. Great call by you, partner, two plays ago. You said Watkins from the get-go. He's your man. He's your number one receiver. First round draft pick. They traded up from the eighth to the fourth spot, I believe, to get him. And he's paying off. Well, we open the day seeing the Hall of Famer, Jim Kelly, shake the hand of Teddy Bridge just joined us Kenny Albert Daryl Johnston Tony Saragusa in Chicago we are in overtime Bears and Bills tied at 20 Buffalo on the move as Fred Jackson breaks free the stiff arm to Chris Conti Jackson stays on his feet he dives 
That is out of bounds, just shy of the goal line. Just a monster run by Fred Jackson on this play, and a tremendous finish at the end of the run. An opportunity to get him early. Missed into the hole. Now he's into the open field. Great blocking up front. Now watch the finish here. The stiff arm. A 27 yards away for the win. Ball is placed down. Carpenter's kick is good. The Buffalo Bills have come into Chicago on kickoff weekend, and they stun Jay Cutler and the Chicago Bears. The Bills win it by the score of 23-20. Most of you will see San Diego and the Patriots. Others, Houston, Miami, Cincinnati, Denver. Here we go, fourth and one. Spiller is at the side of Fitzpatrick. They cross up the coverage if you're look at McClain and see he comes inside as McClain gives chase for his cover. They're expecting man coverage. If you're the linebacker, this is your key, but then watch Nelson here, C.J. Spiller out there. And then see, they leave him wide open chasing their coverage, C.J. Spiller. And he's happy. C.J. Spiller knew he was the decoy. But they pull the middle linebacker out of the middle of the field because he's chasing C.J. Spiller. Nelson comes underneath wide open for an easy touchdown pass. The Buffers. Job in motion. Rodgers has it stripped. Ball is loose in the end zone. Lacey picks it up. And they're, they're waving their hands right now. It is a safety. Bill Levy made the signal for a safety. Mario Williams was able to strip Aaron Rodgers, force the fumble. Wow! With Brian Balagu out of the game with an injury and a concussion, you know, you got Mario Williams with 12 sacks going up against J.C. Treader. Their backup just gets a great takeoff off of the ball. He's Treader's trying to run a by. He has those long arms and wingspan to be able to hit that one, get it out, and comes up with a huge sack force fumble. We heard the explanation from Bill Levy. Let's bring in Mike Pereira. Mike, can you expand on, on what we just saw? Yeah, this is the fumble rule inside of two minutes. So if there is a fumble and it's recovered by any other player other than the fumbling player, it's dead at that spot of the recovery. If it's in advance of the spot of the fumble, it comes back to the spot of the fumble. If it's behind the spot of the fumble, it's dead at that spot. Bill Levy was all over this and correctly awards it to safety because it's dead right where it was recovered. Great job, Mike. Thank you. And great job by Bill Levy. Amazing. Mario Williams, he's had a blocked field goal, a forced fumble, a pass breakup. What an effort. We welcome those of you who are just watching the Bucks and the Panthers, where the Panthers won 19-17. Mario Williams, who's in his third season with Buffalo, comes up huge here in the fourth quarter.
Romo to throw from his end zone. Has time. Intercepted down the middle. George Wilson. Touchdown, Buffalo. Wilson, but they came back for it on the last drive, 70 yards in the Witten touchdown. First and 10, but 89 yards to go. Deflected in the air and caught for the touchdown by Chris Kelsey. Unbelievable! Bum Phillips. That's uh, Wade Phillips' dad, and as he said, he's worked for Hall of Fame coaches. Uh, you think Marty Schottenheimer of that level, Marv Levy, he brings to mind Marv was in the Hall of Fame, but he said, and then my Hall of Fame coach, my dad, Terrence McGee, the return. A good kick return, and McGee hit the opening. McGee has the kick of the bait. He's past him, being chased down by Sam Hurd. Will not catch him. Touchdown, Buffalo. Lossman, who was sacked four times in 16 throw attempts last week, goes long ball and makes the connection. Lee Evans is on the run. No flags down, and he goes the distance. And the Bills hit the home run early. An 83-yard touchdown play. Lossman airs it out, and Lee Evans uh, just runs away from the secondary. And coaches are getting confidence in this kid. There's no question we talked to Steve Fairchild, our old coordinator, for a long time before the game. And here's another ball and another connection. On the run is Evans. Can they catch him? They cannot. No way. He's they... gone again. How about a second 83-yard scoring play? <laughs> Boy, this uh, is Tony Petiti. And right now, the uh, Lossman and the Bills lining up at the 15-yard line. No timeouts. Down by four. Fastball to the end zone. Touchdown. Uh, he's, he's, in. he's in. Peerless Price. A 15-yard throw on target. Nine seconds left. It'll probably be reviewed. Of course, in the last two minutes, the call to review comes from upstairs. But it looked like both feet were down. It has to be reviewed. It was that close. And Gary Kubiak hoping for divine intervention here. Do those feet get down? But two things. One, tremendous throw by J.P. Lossman on the money with authority. But terrible, terrible defense by the Houston Texans. The previous play will be reviewed. They definitely have to review that. They're going to review it, but I cannot believe that the Houston Texans would let anybody run down the middle of the field what a uncontested. Catch, though, Steve. What Tremendous a catch. throw and catch. No, no doubt about he that. He dragged but his feet. In the peerless Price been quiet all day, but a, boy, what a great throw. Actually, that, that's a touchdown. Boy, those look like those feet might be down. It was ruled a touchdown. Now remember, oh, they were it's got to be proven. In, indisputably that he was not in bounds now because the ruling was that he was in and man it was actually better coverage than I thought just a tremendous throw by J.P. Lossman with the game on the line it was it ever on the line and Lossman whose uh, pass offense is under 140 yards a game this year today 26 of 38 341 yards from 54 yards Get it down cleanly. Thomas! Oh, Whoa! Got it! Holy back row! It hit the crossbar and bounced in! Thomas is living right, and we are tied at 39! <laughs> Holy mackerel! A career long 
54 yards. Because they actually moved it back to eight yards. Usually it's seven yards deep, gave him an extra run at it. And that little extra run probably provided that opportunity, those two inches to hit the top and kick over the crossbar. So for the second week in a row, the Buffalo Bills are headed for overtime. And what a shot. Wow. Greg Williams. He'll take it. It's coming across the field. Big play. Caught the ball. Got upfield. And the defense for Minnesota must be getting tired. Here's Bledsoe. Bledsoe underneath again. Price with the catch. A flag. Price towards the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. And it should be a holding call against Minnesota. Yeah, I don't think they're going to call pass interference offensively in this occasion. I think it was a hold. And that's what the referee is signaling. And it's going to be touchdown Buffalo. Game over, Peerless Price. Holding. 29 defense. And this one is Penalty over. Time. Touchdown. The Buffalo Bills win in dramatic fashion. A 48-yard touchdown. Drew Bledsoe to Peerless Price, and they win it 45 to 39. Gus, watch the acceleration by Peerless Price after he catches the ball. Watch Drew Bledsoe looks right, comes back left, allows that open crevice right there. Here comes, he got held back here. Now watch the acceleration right by the defense for the Minnesota Vikings. Bang! all the way into the end zone. That is some speed. And look at Drew Bledsoe. We're on the, we're in the W column. The 20th career game winning drive for Drew Bledsoe. Greg Williams believes in this team. And after struggling last week in overtime, they win it today. And the field goal misses. So the game remains tied with 21 seconds. Let's see what the Bills do. Orton looking to put it up for Sammy Watkins. He holds on! Great catch by Sammy Watkins! Down. Decided to bring some pressure, and he left Rasheed Matt one-on-one -on -one here with Sammy Watkins, and that little stem gets him enough inside. And what a catch. What a catch there. Seven catches, 87 yards. That's a rookie making that play. Well, he is one heck of a rookie. Anybody that saw him play at Clemson knows what this kid is all about. He's got a quarterback that's trusting in him. Here, Dan Carpenter for the win. It's on the way. And it is good. 58 yards. The Bills lead with four seconds to go. Buffalo comes on the road, has to make a 58-yard 50 yard field goal to win. New quarterback, Kyle Orton, a couple of huge throws down the stretch here. And there's four seconds left on this clock. This game is not over. Still got to kick the ball off, but well struck. Straight down the middle and plenty of leg. How about the pass Orton to Watkins to get them into plus territory Watkins with a great catch Kyle Orton 30 for 43 308 yards and then the clutch kick by Dan Carpenter. We know what Kyle Orton is as a passer. He's done it his entire career. He showed today and proved his confidence that his coach gave in him that he's the guy for the job right now. They've lost two games in a row because of the poor play of E.J. Manuel, but get them in position. Kyle Lorton did that, and Carpenter with a laser. Wow. Put them ahead. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> How excited he is. Take that interception off the board that he had in the first half, and saying this was a very impressive debut for Kyle Lorton in a Buffalo Bills uniform. They packed a lot of action in the last couple of minutes. <laughs> Second, fourth, field. Even verse. I'm sure Bill Belichick can hardly believe it. Right now, this New England offense has got to get off its butt and do something.
Their defense had a three and out. Reward them for it. Intercepted. <laughs> Picked off right side. Here goes Big <laughs> Sam. <laughs> be possible that's 360 pounds oh yeah right tilting <laughs> the earth suddenly rumbling downhill oh Sam will need oxygen for the next 15 minutes after that 37 yard pass interception return oh. What an extraordinary beginning to this football game for the Buffalo Bills. Sam Adams right there in the middle, number 95. There he is. There's the football. It comes right to him. And folks, if you were, this is like a freighter coming into port. There's Tom Brady coming over trying to make a play. He hits his head awfully hard on the ground when he goes down. It, it, his arm gets hit and I, from that angle I couldn't tell if it was before the ball left his hand or afterwards. I'm going to have to assume that it happened beforehand. Otherwise the, I don't believe he was throwing on purpose to Sam Adams. But everything breaking Buffalo's way right now. And on top of it all, we've got an injured Patriot. Here's a page from Ripley's Oomba, Believe It or Oomba, Not. Oomba. <laughs> that was not his first career touchdown. Big Sam had one against Dallas in November of 1998. And of course, Sam's father, a longtime member of the New England, New England Patriots, Sam Adams, a tremendous offensive guard. Six. Right at this spot, it would be about 57. Two minutes remaining in the four. Jackson in the open field for the 20. For the 10, five, touchdown! They may have ruled that he was... No, they changed it. At first, the officials indicating that he was down before he got into the end zone, and now... The change of heart, it is called a touchdown, although they will review it. First, explaining it to the Bills. After review, the runner's knee was down and the ball was short of the goal line. It will be placed on the half yard line. First and goal. And it will come down to the leg of Ryan Lindell from 28 yards away on the line. The Patriots 15 straight wins against the Bills. 20 of the last 21. The last win for Buffalo against New England opening day 2003 right here. By the count of 31 to nothing. And the Bills, one of the surprise teams here at the start of the season, try to make it a record of three. And oh, it's a slight angle to the left. This is for the win. The Buffalo Bills have defeated the New England Patriots. They stopped the 15-game losing streak. The Bills go to 3-0 for only the ninth time in franchise history. Patriots had won 10 straight regular season games. Tom Brady began the game on fire, ends up getting picked off four times. Ryan Lindell on target. When you think about a team that started 0-8, 
a year ago, Marv, 3 0 this year. And you go back since 1999, almost 79% of the teams that have started 3 0 have made the playoffs. Thanks to our producer, Ross Schneider, the director, Mark Grant, statistician Mike Paysborn, a spotter, J.D. Rutledge. Marv Albert with Rich Gaddon from Buffalo. The Bills, 3 and all. The Patriots drop to 2-1-1. Coming up, the Subway postgame.